It's that time again. Let's see what's in the vintage toy box. So today in the box, I've got three beautiful vintage plushies that I'd like to share with you in this video. The first one I'm going to show you is this beautiful little plush Womble. Now, the Wombles were originally created by a lady named Elizabeth Burstworth, who one day, while taking her children out for a walk on Wimbledon Common, overheard her daughter mispronouncing it as Wombledon Common. She then went home, wrote the idea down, and developed the characters from there. And this was back in 1968. Now, the Wombles have continued from then all the way up until now, and I think the last Womble film or series, correct me if I'm wrong there, um, was sometime in 2008, 2009. I could be wrong about that. Um, so this little guy, his name is Alderney Womble. He's not an original Womble. Uh, from the original set of Wombles. He came afterwards, slightly afterwards, maybe in the second or third series. And he is meant to be a distant relative of Uncle Bulgaria. I will be trying to get some other Wombles, some of the original ones to show you as well at a later date. So he's kind of really cute and I was very pleased to actually get my hands on him because the Wombles are, I think they're kind of hard to come by. So that's Alderney Womble. You can see he's wearing a little bright little t-shirt and he's got little blonde hair. I'll, uh, funny story about this, when I first got him I thought him was a her but him's a him. So there you go, that's Alderney Womble. The next plush I'm going to show you is this beautiful plush Gromit, uh, which comes from the TV series and films Wallace and Gromit. Now this particular one was made to promote the movie A Grand Day Out, which came out in 1989. Not sure if there was a Wallace to go with it. I would love to have had the both Wallace and Gromit, but I'm very glad to have this little guy. And he's really soft and plush and really gorgeous. The last toy I'm going to show you is this beautiful little plush Noddy. Now, Noddy goes way back to 1949 when he was first created by Enid Blyton, along with his friends Big Ears, Mr. Plod, and a whole host of other characters which I can't quite remember now. Uh, too long since I've actually watched any of his cartoons. Um, and they made these toys sort of because of the series. And I believe they made a whole range of these toys. I unfortunately only have the one. Now, the only problem with this poor little Noddy is that he doesn't have his bell. Um, unfortunately, the bell must have gotten lost and whoever pre-owned this before me just tapped this on the, the back to look like he's got a bell. But he's still really, really, really cute and I'm glad to have him. I might try to get my hands on a few more Noddy characters, which I will show you guys in future videos if I do get. Um, now, I have a friend who really, really loved Noddy. And I thought I'd give him a shout out in this video today. So, hello Richard. Uh, his name is Richard Beauchel. He also has a wonderful YouTube channel for those of you who like gaming. So, go check him out. He's worth a look in. I'll put a link to his channel in my description below in case anyone watching this likes gaming and would like to check him out. Yeah, and so those are the three beautiful plushies I had to show you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And before I go, it's time for the video question. Now in the last video I did a Popples video and I asked you the question what were the name of the Rockstar Popples that came in I think in series 2. The answer of course, Punkster and Punkity. Unfortunately no one got that but you've got another chance now. So today's question is I'm going to ask a question about Wallace and Gromit. So in Wallace and Gromit they did a film, quite a recent one, called Curse of the Where What. So if you can tell me what the animal was that the film was based on, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Okay guys, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe down below. It means a lot and it really does help us small YouTubers. Till next time guys, bye.